Scorpio, hi. Welcome and welcome back. Happy motherfucking birthday season, Scorps. Welcome back. See your soul three with me, Lise. Go ahead and hit that like button before we begin. Hit that like button, comment, share, subscribe. If you're watching me on YouTube, comment, share, follow. If you're watching me on Facebook or TikTok. All right, let's get into it, Scorpio Scorps. Show me what Scorpio's energy is, spirit. Show me Scorpio's energy right now. Fuck yes. The star, baby. Aqua energy. We're all out of radical change. You are the shit. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm seeing. And it's what I'm saying. That's what's up. What's the situation for my Scorpio Scorps? It's like a wish coming true. Your energy, it's like a wish coming true. You've made something happen. It's like the, uh, it, your energy is the star. All, like bright um, times ahead. With the situation, right? We're going to take them. Five of, so five of wands to death. The situation is you not having any internal conflict and not fucking accepting any external conflict, period. It's like I've healed. I have healed and evolved. And I'm also breaking out in some new shit. That's like, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? It's like new age. It's, it, there's just something that you're working on. That's your energy, right? And you're not allowing anything that doesn't, if it irks your soul, it's got to fucking go. The old me's dead and gone is what I'm hearing right now. T.I. and Justin Timberlake, the old me's dead and gone. That one. Yeah. Yes, baby. Yes. Show me what Scorpio can expect. What's coming in for them? Oh, God. It's somebody that pretends that they're some sort of emperor or boss, but they're really like some sorry, full, pitiful person or situation. That's what's coming in. Yikes. Um, somebody that wants you to feel guilty or somebody that's sad. Oh, this could be you healing from a situation before and now you're like, I'm all set. I'm good. I um, worked on myself and I realized that whatever that was, it ain't for me. Boundaries up, baby. If it irks my soul, it's got to fucking go. Look, you came out in your own energy with the death card, right? For the um, situation. What to expect is just like a humdrum. I'm so sad because basically you left somebody in the mess for them that they themselves created. Now they're trying to come spin the block. Yikes, yucks, and ew. See you later. Bye, says my Scorpios. What's the um, advice? Live your life. Nine of cups. You have everything that you need. Live your life. Like how this looks is how you're going to feel. Like not a care in the world. Do not pick this up, guys. You've dropped it for a reason. Though this doesn't have to be a person, although I am feeling it that way. It could be just like an old boss calling, right? Um, but I'm feeling it more so somebody that is probably good in business too, or, a, you know, because it's not in reverse. Um, but you're just like all set. You're like, yikes, you whiny, wimpy, weakling. Gross. It's like that. Yeah. The advice, keep being you. You have everything that you need, Scorpio. 333 three, three on the clock. Look up that angel number. It's nine of cups. You have everything that you need. It's emotionally fulfillment. Keep filling your own cup because this is also talks about sadness. You're not responsible for fixing others' emotions. You exiting a situation was what was in your best interest because who the fuck wants to be dragged the fuck down? It's like you were dragged the fuck down and then you crawled, scraped, and climbed your fucking way out of the pits of hell and you ain't going back. Hell yeah. And I don't blame you, Scorps. All right. What is the most likely outcome if they heed the advice? A brand new beginning in love. A restart of something like a, the broken heart. It's a new, a passion. Like to, to what's, what will... What it's going, what if you, if, if, this happens sometimes, guys, when the energy's like that, like it doesn't want me to get the words out. Um, the most likely outcome is you starting over in love, but it's also somebody else having a broken heart because you chose to move on and you're like got the passion for something else, something that is slow and 
steady, something that is stable. It could be a Virgo, doesn't have to be, could be. Um, but it's slow and steady wins the race. Somebody that's reliable, trustworthy, somebody that is good in business too, because this is a business card as well. I see it, but it's tangible, practical here and now. You will move on. Um, what will be the most likely outcome is you just saying, fuck you, see you later, bye, motherfucker. And starting, like, keeping to continue the start over. Who gives a fuck that they feel like this? Honestly, let's be real here. Do they give a fuck when they were abusing you, hurting you, leaving you? Like, that's what I saw. I saw some real nasty shit. Um, and so they didn't care then. Why should you care now? Period. Yep. Spark. It's an, it's get that spark for yourself and boom, you got it coming in. It's something will be coming in slow and steady too. Let's see what will happen if you don't heed the advice. What if Scorpio 555 five, five on the clock, guys? Um, changes are coming, right? Check out that angel number. But th those are numbers, those specific numbers are numbers that I see for my guide, specifically 555 five, five, when um, a lot of changes are coming. Show me what will happen if they don't heed the warning. Queen of Cups, Scorpio, the Emperor is back out. Well, it will cause, what will happen is you, Scorpio, and that Emperor, right? It will be internal conflict and external. It will be drama and trauma, and you don't need that. Hell to the motherfucking no. Let's see what's going on for business for you. Show me for Scorps. What's up in their business? Some of you have a new idea. Some of you are in business, you have some sort of creative, something that you're doing creatively, you might be too hard on yourself about it, don't judge it too harshly, guys, because there's a victory in this, there's success to this, on a small idea that you might have judged too harsh, you might be judging yourself too harshly, business is going well, you're going to get success out of it, that's what I got for you, my Scorpio Scorps, Sun card at the bottom, brightest card in the deck. This is like illumination too. Every like because when the sun's out, everything's illuminated. You are wide awake and well a fucking where. Hell to the yes, my Scorpio Scorps. All right, guys, that's what I got for you. I love you, and I will talk to you later. Love is coming. I told you, love is coming, and not that person because that person ain't love. That situation wasn't love. It was control and lust, and it might have even been a trauma bond or codependent, right? It happens sometimes, but you grew from it, whatever it was, you grew from it. And that's what this life is about. Learning, growing, evolving. We don't go backwards and we don't stop, right? All right. Bye guys. I love you.